Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 12 of your bucket plugin tutorials or spigot plugin tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at um, clickable things in chat. Um, oh, and that was my Facebook. Let's close that. <laughs> so today we're looking at clickable things in chat. So, uh, yeah, the way we're going to do this is again through packets. So like in our, um, our title thing here, it's also going to be using packets. Uh, before we begin, we need to make a new command because we're going to be doing a slash uh, website command, which then shows them something that they can click, uh, and then it goes to their the service website. Um, or uh, in fact, we're going to do a slash info command so we can add a few things to it, I guess. Okay, so if we go into our command, make a new class, and just call it uh, info, like so, uh, and then go into our other one of our other classes and just copy the top bit. You don't have to do this, but I'm lazy tired today and then add our unimplemented methods and just we can either return false or return true actually you know what I'm just gonna copy this this uh, other on command so I don't have to type it all out so we've got all of our named arguments like so okay um, so what we want to uh, to do is we're going to make a you know, clickable link in chat. So when they do slash info, what we want it to do is to send them a link which says, um, like, click here to visit our website. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is we are going to use that uh, Minecraft JSON thing again. So make sure that we have that. I've already, from our testing, I'll delete all this. Right. <laughs> um, so we're going to go into our uh, player join class where all the stuff used to be and you'll see that we have this packet player title stuff like this um, so we're just going to copy this player connection bit here um, and before we do that we're going to go into our other command we're going to copy this if uh, to check if the thing is a player, the send is a player and then we're going to copy uh, the player connection bit after defining the player so player 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 equals player sender like so and then get the player connection like that. Okay, so the packet we use is called packet playout chat. Uh, so if we type packet playout chat like so and import it and we call this just packet um, and this is equal to a new packet playout chat and it takes the same as before so the chat serializer chat serializer dot a uh, and then in here is where we're going to put our JSON. So if we go into Minecraft JSON and we just remove all this and hit like uh, something or other just remove it and hit A, I don't know. Or let's just remove everything apart from sentence. So okay, and hit add text. Uh, this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna type something along the lines of click here to uh, view the server info. I don't know, something like that. Uh, and then the click event is going to uh, run, open a URL, and the URL is going to be HTTP, or if we actually just say uh, if I go to youtube.com slash the BC bros like so and I copy this <laughs> just so we get it exact and I paste it in here uh, that's going that's where it's going to take us when we click on it and if we make a hover event as well so we show text um, oh, why is that so weird <laughs> uh, show text um, or yeah uh, then we can just set the show text to be like uh, click me <laughs> like so add the text like that add text and now we have this massive thing that we can copy so if we copy that go back into Eclipse paste it in here now a quick way of doing the whole backslash thing uh, someone also complained about me not describing uh, backslashes in, in enough detail uh, so what the backslash does is if you put it before the quotation mark uh, it means that this quotation mark is actually part of the string instead of being syntax that the compiler recognizes. Uh, so this is our string opener here, but if it sees backslash uh, quotation mark, it's going to ignore the backslash and just see the quotation mark as part of the uh, the string. So if we hit control F and we find on selected lines, so just this line we've selected, a quotation mark, we want to replace it with backslash quotation mark. Replace all and then at the end we want to remove this one uh, because that shows the end of the string and the start we want to show the start of the string so if we do all of that that's all done now we can type connection dot send packet to uh, send packet packet to the player like so and that's it 
So if I export this now, so export next, finish, and I'll see you in the game. Before I see you in the game, I'm an idiot and I forgot to register our commands. So if we go to register commands, paste, replace this with website, you can hear spider. Um, go to our plugin.yml and make a new thing like here and call it website and the description can be not website, it was info, my bad. And the description can be view server info, like so. And then obviously change this to info because I'm a fool. And set the executor to new info. It's been a long day. Okay, right. Now export, next, finish, yes. Reload Minecraft. Okay, so now if I do slash info, it's gonna say click here to view the server info. If I go and I hover over this, it says click me and I click it, it's going to say, are you sure you want to pose a file on website, blah, 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 blah. Uh, yes, and that's going to open up my YouTube account, there we are, so that's clickable links in chat, go away spider, um, that's clickable links in chat, it's very, I'm just going over the basics here to show you um, what's going on with that, okay, so thanks for watching guys, um, next episode we're going to be looking at uh, I think next episode just for fun we're going to be doing the uh, the creeper explosion thing that uh, was on a few tutorials back and that's going to teach you about kind of like entities and stuff like that so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time